We're on our way to Heath's. Uh, someone he knows uh, field collected an albino ringneck snake of all things. So I gotta go check this out. Stay tuned. This is an albino ringneck snake. He was caught in southern Oklahoma. I've uh, never seen one of these guys wild caught before that was actually an albino, which is what this one appears to be. Ringneck snakes are small fossorial snakes. They're often found underneath boards, pieces of wood, underneath rocks. And normally in this part of Oklahoma, you find them in their gray, either a light gray or dark gray, with a yellow ring around their neck and a yellow underside that turns to red as you get closer to their tail. But uh, this one, as you can see, is um, white with, um, with a yellow ring around its neck and um, the pink eyes, which are indicative of an albino. And uh, here we have a belly shot of him before going back to some upright shots of him. That's definitely kind of hard to see his color in the sun. But uh, this is a fascinating little snake. I think uh, ringneck snakes generally tend to eat earthworms, uh, small salamanders, possibly small lizards, and other small snakes. Uh, probably about anything that they can catch and overpower. I also wouldn't doubt that they eat centipedes, but I don't know that anyone's confirmed that. Uh, don't quote me on that one. This guy's kind of, it's kind of hard to get him to stay still. He's used to burrowing in uh, the substrate. And I'm just, I'm just really happy I got to uh, photograph and take some video of this guy today. Ringneck snakes are one of the uh, more common uh, snake species encountered in Oklahoma. A lot of people find these guys, uh, they adapt very well to living around human beings. Um, they, they're often found in gardens, uh, flower beds, uh, water meters, um, places like that. And you generally don't see them until you, you know, lift up a board in your yard or lift up a rock in the woods or, you know, roll over some old firewood that was sitting in your yard and then one of these guys will be under there. But um, seeing an albino one, this is, this is definitely a first for me. And um, I'm glad uh, Heath here is uh, helping me photograph and get some video of this guy. This guy is just, um, appears to be just an albino. Um, it's kind of hard to describe. It's just an awesome sight to see. And um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, and thank you for supporting my channel. Uh, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week.